A little blind dog was abandoned by the roadside. He was dirty, thin, and small. His eyes were dull and lifeless. Timidly, he curled up in a corner, trembling. I wanted to take him to the hospital. I wanted to save him. On the way, he was very restless. Perhaps because he couldn't see, he felt insecure. After the examination, it was determined that his blindness was congenital. His left eye was completely blind, and his right eye could only perceive light and shadow. His eyes couldn't be cured, but fortunately, all the other examination results were normal. After returning home, he stayed curled up, just like before. Slowly, he began to explore his new environment. I placed his bed on the balcony so that he could feel the sunlight when he opened his eyes, allowing him to sleep peacefully. After being cleaned, doesn't he look particularly beautiful? Despite your congenital disability, I will take good care of you. Eating is a bit difficult because you can't see, but that's okay, I will care for you like a child. A week later, I took him for vaccinations. The locals were quite curious about the new member. He is still a child and loves to play in places with light, his little tail wagging happily. Two weeks after coming home, he became very dependent on me. He always wants me to be by his side. Whenever I touch him, he quickly responds by wagging his tail. I took him to the hospital for another checkup, and he is very healthy under my care. Now, a month and a half later, I'm preparing breakfast for him. All right, it's time to eat. When I pick him up, he knows it's mealtime, and his little tongue starts licking. He still curls up and stays still in dim light, but the difference now is that I immediately come and comfort him by stroking him.